What's up guys? And happy 4th of July to all of you guys out there. Today at the sawmill we're going to do something a little different, something we haven't done on the channel yet, and that's going to be doing a little cooking. So, over for any of you guys that are pretty savvy seeing this little shed here, right there, in the background uh, when we're running our circle mill. Circle mill's over here, this shed's over here. And just beyond that shed, if you look through it, there is another shed over there. And I'm gonna take you over there and show you what my guy, uh, show you guys what my granddaddy built years ago when we were children and uh, we used to hang out and do. We have a big barbecue pit over there. So I'm gonna take you over there. I'm gonna show you that. I'm behind. I gotta clean up and do some other stuff this morning to get that ready to go. And we're gonna cook all day long and eat tonight. So stay around. We're gonna have a good time. with the uh, charcoal in the morning, but now we're going to start a fire in a minute with some oak, and once we get the oak uh, fire going, we'll use the coals from it. All right, we're about to start it up on all the corners. Let me get around this side. We'll get this side started up so that it all starts. Come on, stay lit. I had to migrate over here in a minute, I guess. You cut it. All right, guys, we're gonna burn her off here a little bit. I'm gonna re-oil the rack and clean it up. Might get me a little brush here. I don't like using wire brushes or anything like that on the grill racks. Hear too many horror stories about that. I like to burn her off and, uh, I don't know, tell me in the comments what's the best ways to clean up a grill rack minus using a wire brush. Okay, guys, so I went up to the house and I prepared the meat. We used uh, mustard as a binder and a good barbecue rub. We spread our coals out inside of here. And we're going to lay these out on the rack that we pre-oiled. Matter of fact, I'm going to touch a little bit of this where I'm going to put these. Just a little oil will keep it from being sticky. That's a little, that's a lot. Fat cap up or down? Pretty sure it's fat cap down. I'll double check that in just a second before I let them stick. Pretty sure I got all this direction though. Okay. Now, I am porked out right now and I haven't washed my hands, so I'm gonna let my son do the chicken. We're gonna lay the bone side down, so leave your skin side up. So come in here, I'll spray your skin. Rinse my hand over right here. Alright. Holding this to try to help keep them sticking around. Alright. Skin up. There you go, just like that. Stack them in there good so you get plenty of room for everything to go. Closer, closer, closer. There you go. We're going to go low and slow. We're going to keep her around 200 degrees, 180 to 200, first couple hours. I ain't no professional cook, but I've cooked a little bit. Let's bring them in here tight here. There you go. There you go. I bring them in over there. 
Two more to go. Put one back. Yep, and one back there. All right, guys, I'm going to be back with you in a little bit. Let's see what this looks like after an hour or two. Oh, check out this ingenious system that I have, my grandfather designed for uh, lifting this lid. So we got follow the lines. Up to the pulley, over to a pulley, and then a piece of railroad sets it down. Pick the railroad up, set it on there. She's nice and closed. I got a temp gauge that I keep right here right here in the top i kind of monitor what the inside is looking like all right guys now we're pulling it off chicken's about done Take these guys back over. They've been sitting here for several hours now, about four. I think we're on our fifth hour. Our ribs are probably coming ready too. So this is what we do right here. This is hickory I got from you know all the ample amounts of saw logs we have over here. I pulled a little hickory log over here. Get them coals down. That coals you see in underneath there, and we take them glowing coals. That long shovel. We open that little door on the back right there. And we slip them in under there and feather them out. And then it's gonna be hard to see because we ain't got our light on right now. I ain't got a bulb out here, but I got her sitting on like 280 right now. And this, I just put coals in there. So uh, we've been going for about seven hours. And well, it'd be in one hour, we will be seven hours. We're gonna do seven hours at 200. We've been going six hours. Don't laugh at me, Joe. So anyway, six hours. Um, at 200 to 250 degrees just as we varied with our wood we're going for seven hours i bumped it up to 300 to finish it off here in the end right at 300 like 290 right now close to it we're coming to the end all right guys i'm in the midst of everybody getting their food shredded pork is what the chicken turned out like over here and they got all the fixing Check this out, I'm gonna show you something. It's my granddaddy's old cabin he built from wood from the sawmill. They use it for different family events and whatnot. He built this uh, nearly 40 years ago, I think. Check this out. Here's a cool one for the sawmill fans. That is my grandpa on the left and my great grandpa on the right running that circle mill you see me running on the uh, on the page so it's been the family for a long time and uh that's the man right there that i grew up with learning how to do that saw mill and that's his best friend right there i'll be back All right, guys, it's the end of a long day. It's a new background you see us in. A little construction in the background. Some countertops and some different stuff. Bathroom behind there, living room. Everything's straight around because this is new construction. No one's ever lived here. It's kind of that home y'all been seeing in the background. Had a couple people ask. We're ending our 4th of July video inside of here because we just got done with everybody. All the family finally left. This is just a little in-between video. Give you a look at what 
we do other than sawmilling sometimes. And, you know, just had a good day. Fourth of July, I'm about to take my son by the fireworks stand. It's eight o'clock. We're gonna run by, grab him a couple fireworks. We're going to let him pop a few off at our house um, up the way. We haven't moved here yet. It's gonna be a couple, what do you think? Two weeks we'll be here? Probably about two weeks. Probably about two weeks we'll be in here living permanently, which is right at the sawmill, which will be convenient for us. And, you may uh, make us work all the time now. Oh, I will, because I, I enjoy sawmilling. My wife loves sawmilling as well, so we look forward to working every day. But now I got an obsession, so <laughs> I might be out here working at night, you know, because I just like doing what I do. But uh, I tell you, funny, I'm ending this out here, but my son, he's just dying to go get some fireworks. It's 8 o'clock. Uh, pallet company is going to be closed Friday, so I've got two days to get one week's work done. So buckle up, buttercup. We're doing two week. We're doing one week worth of work, two days <laughs> over the next 20, uh, 48 hours, so... We're gonna get it done, but we had to take the day off. Everybody got 4th of July off, we wanted it off too. So, anyway, I'll get you guys some more footage of the house for those that are interested in it. And, uh, yeah, I'm rambling at this point. So, <laughs> till next time, guys, if you guys like this content, maybe if you even wanna see more content like this, some behind the scenes, more of the house building, other things, we also have our Patreon out there. I've had a few people join us. I'm gonna give them a shout out on the next video. I really appreciate everybody joining on there and coming along for the ride. Get to see a little bit more stuff that we post daily on there. Um, also, coming up, I'm about to do a video for the guys out there that want to learn a little bit more of how to saw milling. I'm about to do a how to video series. I've been doing this for nine years professionally as a job, and I've been at a sawmill running, working at a sawmill since I was six years old so I've, I've been around it my whole life so i'm gonna give you some background on that i uh, thank you guys for watching this if you want to see more of this content in the future like comment and subscribe i'm tyler and i'm Brittany. thanks for watching guys till next time see ya